daredevil, entrepreneur, corporate icon, and rebel billionaire. Sir Richard Branson, chairman of the Virgin Group, wears many hats. In the next week, Branson will add another, sailor. Having already crossed the Pacific Ocean in a hot air balloon, Branson is now attempting to break the transatlantic world sailing record. Helping him will be his children Holly and Sam, and Team Origin, the British America's Cup sailing team, as well as the Virgin Money, a 99-foot maxi race yacht. You know, perhaps the greatest uh, sailing record is the transatlantic uh, sailing record. Uh, it was held for 100 years by a wonderful boat called Atlantic, um, and only broken actually in uh, 1998, um, when it was, uh, Atlantic held it, and it was 12 days they took to cross the Atlantic, um, and somebody nearly halved it. Um, they reduced it right down to uh, six days and uh, uh, six and a half days. And obviously we hope to, hope to do better than that. We spent the afternoon sailing with Branson on the Hudson River, where the team will embark on their journey, hoping to catch some hurricane force winds to propel the virgin money across the Atlantic in less than six days, 17 hours, 52 minutes, and 39 seconds. If you're going to break a record, you've got to take some risks. Um, uh, and really the only way of breaking this record is to ride ahead of a hurricane, uh, or, or winds almost equivalent of a hurricane. Um, uh, and hope it, take, it carries you the whole way across the Atlantic. Um, obviously, you don't really want that hurricane to catch you up, because um, that, that would be a, a bit of a disaster. While some may say Branson's record-breaking attempts are a distraction, Branson argues that he has developed skills on his many adventures that help him back at the office and vice versa. The, the, the most important thing is, is knowing how to deal with a crisis. Um, and, you know, and in, a, in some of the adventures I've done, you know, I've literally faced you know, face death, and, uh, and I've had to just, you know, concentrate a hundred percent on survival and surviving it, and um, and and have survived. Um, and you don't, just, you know, and, and don't just give up. And you know, in business, exactly the same can apply. With the Wall Street Journal, this is Marshall Crook.